Wow, what a day. Got the Grand and the Tetons in the background. And I'm out at the Elk Refuge. It's gonna be spectacular. But, what would you say if I told you in racing, our biggest enemy is the finish line? Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. We spend all our emphasis on the belt buckle of getting to the finish line. So what, so when things get challenging in an ultra, if we're so focused on getting to the finish line, things are gonna get a lot harder than we want it to be. Thinking about the finish line takes us out of being in the flow, takes us out of the moment. All we're thinking about is getting to the finish line. Things are gonna get so much harder. This is where the GoPro really is bad because right behind me is just a big herd of elk. I don't know if you can see that. Again, GoPro's bad at this. Good for a lot of things, but not this. Lots of elk over there. And saw these guys and gals on the way out finding Finding some melt out, finding a little breakfast. Rocky Mountain sheep. And we've got a lot more up here along the road with a bunch of tourists. Actually two, looks like two or three tour vans out snapping photos. Seeing all those tourists remind me of summer, which reminds me to tell you, still got spots open for visiting athletes coming to Jackson Hole to do some, do some training, whether it's honing your run form or learning skills in the mountains, on trails. Um, hit up the website in the, in the show notes and uh, shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and uh, we can book some dates. So in a lot of ways, resistance is the culprit for poor performance. When we resist something, it's pulling us out of the moment or out of the flow. We're focused on either the past or the future. And a lot of times in ultra running, we're so focused on what's ahead of us. So I'm gonna give you something to think about and contemplate on your next long run. Think about the difference or the division between trying and doing. Trying tends to focus on resisting what is or what's in the moment and trying to change things. And that's where frustration can build. An example of trying is wanting the situation to be different. You're going through a bad patch at mile 60. Remember, even the best races have bad patches, low points. You're going through this low point, you're wanting things to be different versus doing what you need to to get out of that low point. Wanting things to be different is pulling the ego into the equation. And when we pull the ego into the equation, the ego wants the situation to be different, pulling us out of the flow. So when things get hard, we have to focus on relying on our knowledge 
from training that, hey, this is just a low point that's natural that's going to come. What do I need to do right now to help me get out of this low point? And most times, relying on your knowledge from training will just tell you, hey, all I need to do is be patient. I need to eat. After I eat, hey, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, I'm going to start feeling good again. When the ego gets involved, things get so much harder because we're resisting. When the ego gets involved, we're going to want to slow down. We're going to want to spend more time at aid stations because we think that's going to help us. We're resisting moving forward. We're resisting the moment where the flow is. When the ego gets involved, we're going to want to quit. When the ego gets involved, it's not going to seem worth it. The ego is going to tell us all the reason why it's valid to stop or to slow down or to sit or to waste time in aid stations rather than getting up and doing. I'm sure you've heard there's no try, there's only do. So when that ego gets involved and you're resisting what is the, the precious moment, think about, hey, this is what you signed up for. You'd love to run. You'd love to be out there gaining this experience. It's all about the experience. And if you focus on experiencing the effort, this is the flow. Not resisting what's required. Doing what's required. Experiencing your effort. Falling in love with your effort. That's the flow. That's what we love to do. So often when the ego becomes involved, when we resist, that takes us out of why we're doing it in the first place. Catch yourself. And then magic happens. Once we do away with the ego, once we stop resistance, once we get into the flow and focus on our doing, on our effort, things get a little easier. Things start to flow. All right, speaking of a flow, I'm feeling very good. It's my turnaround, and I'm just gonna get into the flow all the way back, feeling really good. Base foundation building starting to take hold. So I'm gonna sign off here, over and out from the Elk Refuge, over and out from Jackson Hole and the Tetons, and over and out from Born to Run World. See you guys next time.